Welcome back to my channel and welcome to, I guess technically my second New York vlog. This is like my first official week in my life vlog and it's gonna be like many days in my life, but like not a week. Today's Wednesday and I'm planning on filming until like Sunday-ish. So many days in my life here in New York City. Um, I have some fun plans with friends for the rest of the week. I had fun plans yesterday as well. So kind of a busy week for me, which I kind of like. If you guys are new, definitely make sure to subscribe down below. I am so excited to get back into vlogging here. And yeah, I need to show you guys like my room updates. I have a bunch of like haul stuff coming in, fun things. I've been spending a lot of money, not good. Also, do you guys like my new little pullover? It's super cute. I'm inspired to start this vlog right this minute because I'm actually gonna walk down to, I was gonna say my apartment's mail room. It's just right inside the front door of the apartment, but we'll call it that. It's right next to the trash room. How glam. I might have some packages there for me. Also, if you guys haven't seen my, I know I'm plugging myself a lot, but if you guys haven't seen my move-in vlog, definitely make sure to go check that out. I posted that yesterday. I spent a disgusting amount of time editing it. Um, my roommate Josh can confirm. I've been talking about it for weeks and it took me forever. So hope you guys enjoy that video and my other packing and moving video. I also want to do like a tips I've learned, things I've learned about like moving to New York because moving to a city is one thing and I feel like moving to New York was like next level. Just like budget things, things to look for, how to apartment hunt, all that maybe. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely let me know. That's probably more of a niche because this audience I feel like is very like UVA college videos rah rah but we're pivoting because i'm not there anymore which is sad um i'm rambling welcome back to my channel welcome to this vlog and yay subscribe if you're new finally finished work for the day today i was texting chloe earlier such a weird day i feel like it went by so slow and i felt like i was in a simulation for half the day so that's that i'm actually going to spin class soon whoa who is she? I decided to do a monthly membership at Cycle Bar because I wanted to see like how much I use it, if I'm into it, whatever. I will say so far, I've only done a couple classes and it's a lot different than Zoom in Charlottesville. Personally, Zoom will always have my heart and I just love, it was like by college kids, mostly for college kids. And I think that's why I liked it so much. Like the EDM, not just like the EDM, but it was like SoundCloud remixes, like stuff that I listened to. A lot of my friends taught very, like choreography based which I like because it distracts me from the fact that I'm like out of breath and dying I would say the biggest difference between zoom and cycle bar is that cycle bar is like super endurance heavy so like the first like 10-15 minutes you're out of the saddle for the whole time which is like whoa <laughs> like at zoom you would do like maybe like three or four minutes at a time and that was like the endurance track so like just used to doing like more like speed and like hit and like going all out on that, which I personally like because that's like how I used to run in high school. But also like that's endurance too, so I don't know. I definitely can feel the difference even after only doing it a couple times. It's absolutely kicked my ass every time I've done it, so I'm excited but I'm also scared. I booked a bike that's a row further back this time because I was like embarrassed that I was like sitting down because last time I literally was just like, I need a break, my heart rate's way too high. Anyway, I want to show you guys real quick though my Run the Runway order because I've been doing that. Is that fixed? I'm so glad I got these things because I think I'm going to go into the office tomorrow. And I actually just made plans with Allie. Guys, I have plans every single night this week. Go me. Tonight, I'm doing cycle bar and then I was just gonna come home and like do that. But now I'm also gonna go to bingo on the Upper East Side. So I'm excited for that. My little bag. Run the runway if you wanna sponsor me, let a girl know. Okay, three out of four items this week are pink. They all come in these like garment bags with these hangers, so. The reason I got Run the Runway is twofold, I would say, threefold. I've always wanted to try it, and I have more disposable income now than I did in college. Two, I don't have a lot of closet space here, so I like don't want to get a ton of new clothes, although I've been doing that anyway, so don't even worry about that. But I wanted to like try some new things, and they also have a lot of, not professional wear, but like things that you could wear to the office, and also like where I work is like very casual. It's like you can wear jeans and like cute top. Honestly, I've seen people wear some like crazy shit, but my personal dress code for going to work is like what I would wear to church. No ripped jeans, just like nice top. I don't know if I'm gonna try everything on right now. This dress, I'm looking at it, I'm clocking it. It's so short, like I don't think I can wear this. 
Like, whoa, look at that. That's it, that's the dress. Okay, well this could be cute with a tan. I need to get this one in a size up because that's all they had, but I'm thinking that actually might be questionable. I will put also all the like links and the names down below and I will see if I have like a referral code because I don't have like, I don't have an influencer code, so don't worry, but I probably, I feel like everyone gets a referral code. So I'll put it down below if you guys do want to get run the runway because I got the first two months for $100 and I've gotten one shipment before this. So this is my second shipment and I've liked it so far. I was bad about turning it in on time. I got like the two shipment per month one, which is perfect for me because I don't want to go super often and I get four items each time. So like this time I got three tops and one dress. I think it'll be better honestly for fall because they have so many cute sweaters and coats and like things that you can get. I'm gonna try these on and I also have to go spin in eight minutes. We're racing against the clock. Okay, so I definitely need to figure out the mirror situation in my room. I think I need to hang up my gold one like here for better lighting, but this is what we're working with right now. So this is the blue top. Obviously would not wear a real bra with it because that's a lot of cleavage, but I'm actually really surprised at how the cups like actually fit. Like this top could be like a little, like a date night vibe. Like who am I going on a date with? Ask me, I'll be around. This could definitely be a vibe, not in the current state, but like very flattering. I like this like, this moment okay guys i'm sad by this one it does not fit i got this in a size up because they only had this option i would have gotten at least another size up i like honestly like can't get these buttons button they're like so stiff but they will button so like imagine that and then i can't get the back zipped because i don't have another person but it's honestly like pretty stiff and like there are pockets here which like why are the pockets doing that like the way that they're, it's fitting is just kind of interesting also i'm serving german beer girl, beer girl with how short this is like not even close to being appropriate like literally those are my shorts so this is a zero out of ten for me i think if maybe you were like five four and below you could definitely wear this and then perhaps size up especially if you have a larger chest but honestly i'd say it's more my back i think this is a size 12 and i'm usually like between an eight and a ten so okay so this stuff is crazy it makes me look like i have no waist but i just have my really high waisted biker shorts on depending on how cropped this top was or wasn't i was maybe gonna wear it to work Definitely not. It's definitely a little revealing in the chest, which is good for a little weekend. I don't know how I feel about the frills. I think with some pants and maybe a little midriff, this would like work better, you know? Intriguing top, perhaps. Definitely needs a little steam, but this is great. This fits exactly like I thought it would. It has the fluffy top. It honestly looks like my Target top, just like in a different pattern, but I'm feeling good about this. I would probably have my hair back too to like show off the ruffles and stuff, but. This was a win. Just changed. I need to put up my hair up. Put up, well, that was in English. Fill up this in my hydro flask for water. And then I'm gonna head to spin. Yay. But yeah, I'm excited. I haven't been in the house today, so that'll be good. <laughs> This morning, not many updates last night. I did go to Bingo, which was kind of a last minute decision. It was so fun. It was on the Upper East Side and it was in this Irish pub, which is only fitting. I've discovered, it seems like a lot of Irish pubs here. Have I gone to a club? 
now, but I've gone to like eight Irish pubs, so that's on brand. Day on tap, body's definitely a little tired from yesterday just because spin really took it out of me and then obviously I went straight from spin to bingo, so that was a lot. Tonight, after work, I'm going from the office to the Upper East Side again. Allie and I are going to, Allie by the way is Liv's sister. I don't think I've said that, but it's Allie. We're going to this like wine tasting place and apparently you can get a flight of wine for $18, which like doesn't sound that cheap. But then Allie's roommate was showing us pictures of like the glasses that they pour for the flights and they're like normal glasses. So I'm like, you get five glasses of wine for $18, sign me up. Y'all know I love my wine, maybe to a fault, I don't know, but this is also really cute. The foundation I'm using is the pale shade um, because tonight when I get home from all that, I'm going to tan. You know when you're just like tired in the morning and you just like, not dreading the day, but you just like know how long of a day that you have ahead? That's how I feel right now. Typically, I get to the office around 9, 15-ish. It's pretty chill, honestly. I'm getting to the office a little bit earlier this morning because I have a 9.30 where I work at least in the office because I'm not a manager. Obviously, I'm very low on the totem pole. I have like an agile desk. So like I don't actually have an assigned desk, which I feel is very common. Nowadays, this working world we live in, I have to like find like a quiet space. I do take some meetings like out in the like common area because like people do that. That's very normal. I know some offices like you don't do that but like at my office you do it's fine but i personally just like don't like to do like one-on-one -on -one chats out there just because one i feel like that that's personal like you don't need to hear that and two it's not like you're in like a meeting of like 15 people and you're like probably barely speaking obviously you're speaking a lot in a one-on-one -on -one. what else um i basically finished my book last night that i've been reading for a long time i honestly like read probably 70% of it at school last year and then I just like stopped because like I mean the book was good but it was just like crazy it's called Credence it's like one of those books you see on TikTok type vibe like it is insane and like the smut way you know it's kind of twisted the end is like kind of what you would expect like it's not like that surprising except for which person she like chooses which is kind of just like to me, I was kind of like, seriously, whatever. But if you guys do want a book for recommendation, Kylie suggested Verity, and obviously like I've seen on like TikTok and like places like that, people talking about it. Best book I've ever read, I'm not even kidding. I think it was not good for me though to start with Verity, which is like one of Colleen Hoover's arguably best books. Personally, I like the smut part of things, but also like that book was like a thriller and crazy and twisty and like that's what I love. I love like crime TV shows and like mysteries and stuff like that. This is like the most insane book. The end I like could maybe see coming. Like it wasn't like it was shocking, but like it wasn't like, oh my god, I like what what did I just read? And there's something that happens right after that that you're like, oh my god. Also, I'm looking so pale from this lighting right now. Like, that's just really cute. Clearly, I'm tanning tonight. This is probably the most professional outfit I've put on since going to the office. Not that I dress unprofessionally, but usually it's more like... This is like very traditional office vibes in this outfit. Sans my shoes, which will be sneakers because that's the vibe and I refuse to do anything else. I don't know why sometimes when I put on mascara, I just like look like a doll. Like, look at my eyes right now because I just like don't put on mascara when I'm home but this is the fit let me put on my shoes and I'll show you guys here's that this shirt I'll come in a little closer I just got it from H&M I actually need to take off the tag I got it in a large I could probably do it in a medium I hate when work shirts are too tight and I'd rather be comfortable so if you're in between sizes choose wisely you could also technically tie it up here I guess if you wanted a more conservative look but like no not for me I paired it with these black pants they are actually patterned which you can't really tell here they just have this like little pattern i think it's fine to mix patterns like this and some could say it's fashionable i will say i do need to like learn how to tuck in shirts like this because like when it's just like this like it's fine but like that's not 
doing anything for me, you know? Like it doesn't snatch me, you know? And then I'm wearing these white shoes with black little platforms from Target. I'll probably get the nicer ones from Steve Madden, but I walked into Target one day and saw these. They're super cute, they're very comfortable. I do need to clean them, but I only wear them to work. That's my role. That's the fit, nothing groundbreaking, just me. And now I'm gonna be running late, so I'm off to work. Reaching for a North Star Waiting just to wake up From this nightmare Where you could be right back in my arms Dancing to the limbo Stuck here in the middle You tell me that it's simple But I could paint a thousand different pictures Of what is wrong But if we turn the clocks back Couple dials, we should throw them out because time ain't I know, but you fill me up and I can feel it now. New shoes, who dis? Look how gorgeous they are. They're so like thick. They're my hokas, they're the mock four or five, I'll link them below. They just look so much better than my janky current ones. Like look at the tread on these, basically gone. This is horrible vlogging right now. Look at the tread on those, fresh to death, honey. Also don't mind the remnants from last night. My socks, my shoes, my Taco Bell, my Hoka box, ice roller. This is a sign of a good weekend. But I'm off to picnic in Central Park with some of my promo friends. And then we're going to a club tonight so intrigued so i'll take you guys along with me just wanted to pop on here and end off this vlog i haven't edited the footage yet or even looked at it so i don't know if this is my best work or not however i'm definitely getting back into the swing of getting used to vlogging again especially in the new city so if you guys have any video requests or anything like that please leave them down below i love to read them and i definitely want to make videos that you guys want to see if you guys are new make sure to subscribe down below and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.